Hey folks, I'm at Hall Services Greenhouse in Calgary, Alberta, and I'm just sitting in front of it right now. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the importance of the knee wall. So the knee wall is literally the wall that is right behind my shoulder right here. And it's essentially the space between the ground and the vent wall. Now the knee wall is really important because it allows for snow to shed off of the greenhouse and to accumulate there in an unobstructed way so that the vent wall itself doesn't get obstructed by snow in the winter time. Typically in this climate we recommend anywhere from two to three, maybe even four feet depending on if you're really in a, in a climate that gets a lot of snow. Um, and so this is a really important uh, lesson that I learned in my first greenhouse because um, I didn't allow for a knee wall in my greenhouse. And so the snow can get really high there, um, which makes it really difficult to open up my bottom vent wall. So the, this particular knee wall actually is an extension of the foundation that goes down almost eight feet. And it's constructed out of insulated concrete forms, which are basically polystyrene blocks filled with concrete. And one of the reasons that this knee wall goes so deep is that we wanted to plant this greenhouse deep into the ground so that we could get access to a lot of soil for the plants, but also for, now I'm not sure if you can hear it behind me, but the subterranean heating and cooling system just turned on and it's actually storing thermal energy in spite of the fact that it's pretty overcast right now. The greenhouse is still heating up. And so it, uh, having that deep of a foundation allows us to store thermal energy which is what allows this greenhouse to operate without fossil fuels uh, for the majority of the year. So when you're designing your greenhouse make sure you think about the knee wall which is essentially the lower part of the greenhouse um, and uh, give it enough room to accommodate for the snow that you have within your particular bioregion. Thanks so much guys, if you found that interesting, make sure you give me a like on the video, leave any comments down below. And if you're interested in designing your own passive solar greenhouse, you might wanna check out our advanced passive solar greenhouse design course. I'll leave a link to it in the show notes below.